Another interactive way of presenting a ton of information on one web page is to use accordion panels. And accordion panels are becoming more and more common on websites. I'm on Bootstrap's website, which is getbootstrap.com. Click on the link for JavaScript, then click on Collapse over in the left navigation, and you'll see all of the documentation here about accordion panels. So I'm looking at the example accordion here. As you'll see, what happens is it says collapsible group item one with some text. As I click on individual elements here, I never leave my page, but I reveal various pieces of information as I click on the various links here within the page. In principle, this works the same kind of way as the tabs that we just saw, in that there's this link that we click on, and when we click on that link, the ID that's specified in that link is going to correspond to an ID with that information that appears elsewhere inside of our markup. And then we use JavaScript to hide and reveal those chunks of content on the page. The markup, though, for an accordion panel is quite a bit more involved and a little bit more complicated than the tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through this with you. There's four of these to complete here on our web page, four little groups of accordion panels to set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the first one, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other three offline because they are kind of long and involved. So I'm now looking at my starting web page. So this is in your exercise files folder. Go to folder number five, video number three, copy over the HTML file that's there into your Bootstrap folder and then open it up in your browser. And what you'll see here is the same old services page we've seen many times before. And instead of the tabs down at the bottom now, I am going to try to make an accordion panel presenting these four bits of information at the bottom of the page. So the words vaccination, checkups, senior pets, and diet plans will wind up being the clickable text that I can click on and then the little chunk of text underneath with the read more button will appear when I click on those various titles. And I, of course, I've changed the markup here a little bit to make it look this way over the individual thumbnails that you saw or over the tabs. All right, so now I'm going to take a look at the same document inside of Sublime Text. And if you scroll on down the page here to where all of this starts, you're going to go down to line number 69. And right here, you'll see that I just have a little line of text here. It's just the glyphicon plus the word vaccinations. There's actually no markup anywhere else around that line. We will be adding some, of course. And then you'll see the additional text underneath the two paragraphs, just the paragraph of information and the paragraph with the button for reading more. And I've got four of these set up here. The one I'm going to set up with you is the vaccinations item up here on the top. Then I'm going to set up the other three offline. And I will give you the completed file inside of your exercise files folder. So if you get lost anywhere along the way, you can take a look at my work and compare it with yours. If you're going to start this, the very first thing you have to do is specify this entire area is going to have to do with the accordion panels. And we're going to do that with a div. So just above the very first line here where everything starts at line 69, on line 68, I'm going to add a div with a class of panel hyphen group. And then you need to give this an ID. And the ID can be anything you like. I'm not terribly creative this way, so I'm just going to call it accordion. If you had several accordions on your page, each of them would have to have a unique ID. And then I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom on line 87, and I'm going to put in a slash div. And because we're going to add a lot of divs to this markup, I'm also going to put in a comment that says end accordion. Then around the very first item up here at the top, the div up at the very top here, lines 69 through 71, I'm going to add another div. And this is going to be a div with a class of panel and panel hyphen default. And I'm going to close that div here just after the last paragraph around line 73 slash div. So this particular div with the classes of panel and panel default is going to specify everything that's inside of this as part of one accordion panel. That's just one unit that we're working with there. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to designate where the heading of this particular panel is going to be. In other words, what is the title, what's clickable, and all the rest of that. Basically, everything that's going to go around the span and the word vaccinations here. So let's go ahead and add that. In fact, I'm just going to put in a couple of returns so that you see that one line there. It sort of stands out a little bit better. So here on line 70, I'm going to add a div with a class of panel hyphen heading. 
So this indicates that this is the start of the accordion panel. Inside of that, I'm going to put in an H4, and it could be any heading tag you want, but we've been using H4s here all along, so I'm going to continue using that, with a class of panel hyphen title. So these H4 and the div that I just put in need to be closed. So I'm going to go ahead and close those before I forget. So a slash H4 after the word vaccinations here on line 73 and a slash div. That'll go in line 74 and that closes the div that starts on line 70. If you make sure you do your indents right, hopefully those will all line up and you can see which divs are open and which are closed. All right, then... Inside, we're going to add an A tag here that's going to go all the way around. So let's go ahead, A, H, ref equals a pound sign. That's going to start just before the span, and it's going to end after vaccinations. And then inside of that A tag, we're going to add several attributes. So let's start with the H, ref. As we saw with the tabs, what we're going to do is we need to specify when this word vaccinations is clicked, where is it going to go on the page? And the href here is actually going to refer to an ID elsewhere on the page. So we're going to use the same names that we used under tabs. So this is VACC. And I will put in that ID of VACC later when I go down around line 76 and I work with that bit of content down there. Right now, we're just setting up this clickable area portion of the accordion panel. Then I'm going to add to this a class of accordion hyphen toggle. Because, of course, this is the link that we're going to click on that's going to open or close something. And since, of course, we're clicking on something and we're expecting something to happen, this is where we'd also need to bind the JavaScript. So we're going to say this is the data hyphen toggle of collapse. Collapse is the name of this particular JavaScript widget inside of Bootstrap. They call it collapse instead of calling it accordion. And we're also going to add a data hyphen parent of pound accordion. So we're saying that this particular link is part of the structure that goes with the ID up here on line 68, the ID of accordion. So we're associating all of these units together with this data parent attribute. So that's a lot of markup that went around that span class that we started with in the word vaccinations. So that's everything that's going up there in the panel heading. Now we're going to set up the panel body. But what we're going to do is just after the slash div tag here on line 75, I'm going to add a div with the ID of VACC. And of course, that corresponds with the href from line 72, where we're calling that ID. All right, so back to line 75. We're going to give this a class of panel hyphen collapse and collapse. And I'm also going to add one other thing, which is a class of in, I-N, and by adding this class of in, this indicates that this is the panel that we want open when the page loads. So all of your other accordion panels are not going to have this class of in, but they will, of course, have the classes of panel collapse and collapse. So that's the start of this div, and it's going to close just after line 77 here. So slash div, and let me indent this paragraph here. There, that makes it a little easier to read. Since we had a panel heading, we're also going to have a panel body. So after line 75, we're going to add another div here with a class of panel hyphen body. And that div is going to close on line 79. So that is the basic markup here for one of the accordion panels. Now what we need to do is we need to take this markup and we need to duplicate it for the other three groups of text that we have here in the same kind of way. You see what I mean by being a lot of markup? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go offline here just for a moment. I'm going to copy all of this code, and I'm going to paste it in around each of these little chunks of text here, and I'm going to come back and show you what I did in just a minute. All right, so how'd you do? Hopefully you managed to copy this markup on over, and you've managed to mark up everything correctly. Just to show you what I have done here, here I am with my completed file. And I'm just going to show you the checkups portion of this. I copied over all of the markup that I had before, and I changed just a couple of things. Remember, the ahref that you see here in line 86 needs to point to its own unique ID. So since this one has to do with checkups, I called this pound checkups. That corresponds to the ID that's here in line 89, where I call the ID of checkups. And the other thing that I did was also in line 89, inside of this div with a class of panel collapse and collapse, I removed the item called in, the class called in, that's gone. 
So that class called in, you'll see up here in line 75 that's associated with the vaccinations, but it's not here in line 89. And that's because, remember, in is going to correspond to the panel that is open when you initially open the page. Now, unlike the tabs, there's no need to initialize anything down in the JavaScript at the bottom of the page. So down here at the bottom, there's just our calls to jQuery and to Bootstrap. And that's all we need to do down here at the bottom of the page. So if you'll go ahead and save this and then open it up in your web browser, go ahead and refresh and scroll on down to the bottom here, you should now see your accordion panels. So here we are with vaccinations, checkups, senior pets, and diet plans. And as you click on those words, you should see the little blurbs of text plus the read more buttons coming up here. If they're not quite working correctly, the first thing that I would double check is to make sure that you have your IDs set up correctly. Make sure that you're calling the right ID in the link and that that's corresponding to the right ID inside of the text that you want to have appear. It's very easy as you're copying and pasting markup to forget to change those IDs. So that's probably the first place you're going to make a mistake. And then also I double check to make sure all of your divs are nested correctly. That's another thing that's very easy to mistake because there's so many divs that are involved in putting together an accordion panel. Markup's very complicated. So make sure that all of your divs are closed correctly. And again, if you need to, I have given you my markup inside of your exercise files folder so that you can take a look at that and compare if you have any other errors that you need to take a look at.